Yes, yes, sir. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. Get the pump. Yes, the pump. Come on. Yes, sir. The pump. Yes, sir. The pump. Yes, sir. The pump. What's up, Squires? Comic King back with another spoiler free manga review uh, for y'all today of Berserk the Golden Age. It's about time. I think this is one of the greatest stories I've ever read in just fiction, period. Absolutely love it. Um, this is, in my opinion, definitely so far from what I've read, the pinnacle of Berserk. It's the most famous part of Berserk. It's just an epic, sprawling story. It's phenomenal. Yeah, the Golden Age story, uh, the Golden Age, I guess, yeah, in terms of it, that's what it's called, just the Golden Age, is the backstory for Berserk and for the world, but really the origin story of Guts and how he meets the Band of the Hawk, where he f meets new friends and finds um, tribute amongst fellow uh, comrades in battle with this Band of the Hawk that he did not have growing up through his rough childhood and his, uh, I guess you could say, adopted father, Gambino. And this is, The Golden Age is the story that both the animes um, adapted, and the 97 anime got it so close, it's, it's fantastic, there's still, both animes, there's still a middle chunk that they uh, took out of the, um, uh, from the manga, they, did, they didn't include it within the show, uh, that's the part I really wish they did, because I think it's badass, but there's a lot more, obviously, with most books when it comes to, um, I guess, uh, visual media such as movies and television that, you know, a lot of stuff or content gets cut from books just because, you know, in, in literature, I feel like you can include so much more and usually uh, events are so much more in detail. Well, like I said, the Golden Age is the backstory, backstory and also origin story for Guts and the Band of the Hawk and his um, companion Griffith, his eventual lover Casca. It's just... It is, I mean, it's fantastic. It's one of the greatest stories I've ever read. This review may be a little shorter compared to the other Berserk reviews just because I've talked about the Golden Age so much and, you know, my spoiler review of the Golden Age, of the manga side of the Golden Age with uh, Sister King will definitely be much more in detail uh, just because I can talk about stuff that, you know, wasn't included in the anime in spoiler fashion. But, um, yeah, it's just one of the greatest stories I've ever read. I know I keep saying that, but just the characters that Kintaro Miu, uh creates and writes within the Golden Age are just some of the most phenomenal characters of all time. And uh, you get so attached to them, they're just lovable. Every character has a moment. It's just, this. the Golden Age is just a very personal story. The writing is phenomenal. The way it moves, you know, the plot, it's very detailed and very realistic, very grounded. Uh, the Golden Age does not, you know, you start off with the Black Swordsman. Very fantastical, very much a dark fantasy. There's uh, there's apostles, which are the demons within the world of Berserk. Um, you know, monsters, demons, evil spirits that are trying to possess you. You don't know if these demons are going to fucking kill you, rape you, or eat you first. I mean, it's fucking metal. This is by far the most badass metal story. One of the most metal books I have ever read. But the Golden Age is much more grounded than the rest of Berserk because... Based off the events of what happens, I will not spoil, and what everyone knows knows as the Eclipse, it's kind of like the Golden Age is really the world of uh, Berserk. It takes place in this country, kind of like medieval Europe. It takes place in this uh, country slash continent of uh, the Kingdom of Midland, and their war with Tudor, they've been fighting for like 100 years. Um, but it's very much a realistic uh, European medieval world, right? And so everything that within that story, you could definitely see as, like, a reality. It's kind of like, oh, you know, it, it's it's just very much very grounded. It's kind of just a normal uh, medieval story, you know, knights, kings, war, blood, sex, love, uh, hatred, revenge. This kind of, it's a story amongst that and, like, uh, Guts' companion, Griffith, his rise to power and what his mission trying to do uh, by getting his uh, own kingdom, I guess you could say. And it goes... It goes a certain way. Once you read it, your mind's going to be blown. It's fantastic. And one of the greatest twists and one of the greatest betrayals, in my opinion, probably the greatest betrayal in storytelling and fiction ever is within the pages of the Golden Age within Berserk. And it's just fantastic. And like I said before, it's very grounded, 
But the way Kintar Munir sets it up, all this world building, it's just once the fantastical shit starts to fucking happen within the story, it's just like, it's jarring, it comes out of nowhere, but it makes sense within the world that he's building, and the impending doom that you know is going to happen by the end of the story, which ends up uh, inevitably creating a berserk that we know today. and um, Or just, you know, the, the general premise of berserk of a guy on a quest for revenge, fighting, you know, he's a demon hunter, mon a demon and an apostle hunter and killer, right? He fights, he fights the supernatural uh, side of life, and um, but that's berserk, and this is all build up because it does, you know, it's not the traditional part of berserk, but you see, you know, it's definitely the pinnacle and the climax of the story is definitely what uh, sets up, you know, the main story and plot that is berserk and. I know I'm reading myself a little bit, but this story is fantastic. Um, it's definitely so far, it's close. The next story, the Conviction Arc, um, I'm going to be breaking up, and you'll, you'll see in that review. But the first part of that story is, um, for some reason, I just really loved it. It's just kind of berserk at its core, and in a more simplistic fashion, much more detail-oriented than, I guess, the Black Swordsman, you could say. But it's definitely, um, it's definitely a fun ride. But the Golden Age just... For, if you're looking for a sprawling epic, it's definitely fantastic. Probably the most uh, well-known story within the uh, within the pages of Berserk. And the end of the story is definitely the most I, I definitely the most iconic and most famous moment within all of uh, uh, Berserk. And really, in my opinion, probably the most famous moment in all of anime. Maybe not quite anime, but definitely manga. It's definitely one of the most uh, famous and well-known um, moments within that side of pop culture. And it's just a very, very, I guess, what, what's the word you call it? Very, I mean, it's extremely classic and uh, extremely iconic. It's probably the most iconic moment within the story. Uh, but, yep. All right, Squires, as you can see, these are the deluxe editions for Berserk. And the Golden Age is contained within the last parts of Deluxe Edition Volume 1. And it continues all the way up through about half of Deluxe Edition in Volume 5. And each of these Deluxe Editions includes three of the Tonkin Bonds, which are the trade paperbacks. And um, so the Black Swordsman, which is Volume 1, has the first three. And then at the end of Volume 3 is when the Golden Age starts, and it continues up through the middle volume of Deluxe Edition Volume 5. And that's where the Golden Age ends. All right, Squires, as you can see, it's Deluxe Edition Volume 2. This is where... Golden Age starts and primarily takes place. With Gut's backstory. Just wanted y'all to see. Immediately, right, the art has already advanced and evolved since Volume 1. Guitar Muse art is just absolutely stunning and beautiful. Golden Age is fantastic. Classic, classic story. The art is just beautiful. Especially love this image right here. Griffith. See, it gets pretty graphic. Nosferatu Zod, classic character, total badass. The fights he has with Guts are amazing. Again, I don't want to show anything too graphic, but yeah, she is transformation. And, and Kitarmu's art is just absolutely stunning. It's fantastic. His monster designs are also amazing as well. Yep, that's volume two. All right, Squires, here's Deluxe Edition Volume 4. I skipped I skipped Volume 3 just because I want to avoid as many spoilers as I can if you've never read it. I just want to show you all the progression of art. So we're still in the Golden Age. We have Volume 3 in between. And the art you can see already since Volume 2. It just progresses every chapter, like I said before. It's just fantastic. It's great stuff. This is the uh, edition where the... Eclipse takes place. And this is when it gets insanely dark and graphic, so I don't want to show so too much, right? But yeah, just iconic panels. It's 
especially right here when the eclipse happens. Just, just fantastic art. Truly, truly terrifying stuff, too. Uh, yep, that's the golden age. It definitely gets a double bicep pump. That's how much a, a double bicep pump of awesomeness. That's how much I love this series. That's how much I love this story, the golden age. It's fantastic. Definitely A+. Plus. The double bicep pump, highly recommend. Definitely go check it out. Give it a read. It's the best way to experience Berserk, in my opinion, is reading the manga. It's just phenomenal. But yeah, highly recommend. Comic King sign off. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and get the bump.